this one is for open uni students. There is more of a general one on its way, so keep your eye out for that. OU students, do not be put off by what people say about the OU, because most of the time it's a load of turd, load of rubbish, load of garbage. Um, the OU is possibly one of the best places to study, because you can work around it, you can have a life around it, you don't have to go to a building at this set time, on this set day, to do this, to do that, whatever. You can do as much as you want, when you want, but there are TMA deadlines, there are EMA deadlines, but that's all. You can have a full-time job around it. I've known people to work full-time and do two full-on 60 credit modules, which obviously are, are well, part of a year really, if you were at Brick Uni. Um, so yeah, you, it can be done. It is crazy, it is mental, it is madness, but it can be done. I did it last last academic year, which is technically still going, I don't know when it ends, I think it's the end of July. Um, and yeah, well, I came out alive, somehow. <laughs> um, uh, it can be done. Um, with the OU, you've got the brilliant community on Facebook, which is really, really, really worth looking into. You've got a big open university group, unofficial, and then you, if you, whatever module you're doing, from science to business, whatever, if you put the code of that module and followed by the module name, you will, on, on Facebook search, you will probably find a group for that module. And to be fair, 80% of the module groups I've been in have been fun, active and lively um, and helpful. But don't take the mic, don't be like, want to be spoon fed sort of thing. Be told the answers, learn for yourself, because that's why you're there, to learn, to better yourself, to improve yourself, to push on in life. Um, also you have Student Hub Live, which is such a good event to just sit there and watch, interact, talk, do the widget things. Um, yeah, that is a good event. Then you've got the other forums, the OUSA forums, actually on the OU website, you can click there's a link on the student home somewhere for them. They're worth looking into, although they're not as lively as the OU groups, no offence to the AUSA. Um, they are worth looking into, especially if there's an AUSA event going on or something like that. It is worth looking into, having a look what they're about and what what's there really. If you're a new student especially, I advise you to do that because there's so much information you can find from there that you'll probably ask people and it's probably been asked a thousand times before. Nothing wrong with asking it, but if you look around the OU site you'll probably find the answer anyway. Uh, the OUSA shop is brilliant. I've bought a lot from there. Uh, quite a lot. A bag, rulers, pencils, pens, something else, bookmarks and exam papers, downloadable and non-downloadable. Um, and it is such a good shop to look at and also it supports the o OUSA in what they do. If you want to know more about the US OUSA, there will be a link below and you'll be able to click on that and have a read of that because I don't really want to go too much into what they do and make it all about them. I want to be a bit more varied and a bit more informative than just one area. Uh, what would I do different if I was starting the OU now? don't know. Um, I'd probably do, like, there is this, and I did do this, there is this temptation when you've done one level one to jump up to level two, which you can do, because as long as you've done that um, must do level one, unless they've changed it, you can go to level two after you've done your must do level one. Um, but if I was you, I wouldn't do that, because you, if you do that, you have to go back to level 1 again. So I'd do level 1, level 2, level 3, and then you're optional, or double up, you're optional in level 2 or 3 or 1. Because you do, well, after, probably after 2 and 3, to be fair, because then you get a more idea of the uni and what's it about and what is available for you to do, really. Um, so yeah, because if your degree has optional modules, that is, depends on your degree. But yeah, I'd do your level 1, level 2, level 3, and then if it does have optional um, modules, do them. What would I say to a new student? Don't be scared. 
don't be shy, don't be nervous, the OU groups are amazing, they are full of helpful people who will help you, but as I say, don't expect them to tell you the answers because that is plagiarism. And the OU do frown upon that. Um, but yeah, don't. I'd, I'd definitely say get to the Student Hub Live, get into the o, OU community on Facebook and the OU site and get yourself integrated into that community in talking about stuff asking the questions that you want to ask because they will be answered they may have been asked about a thousand times but they'll still be answered because chances are there's another hundred students who are going oh we don't know where to ask that so ask, ask away because they will be answered on the main OU group on official OU group on Facebook and the admins of most groups are really nice people there are the odd few that are a bit but most of the admins on the groups are really nice people. So don't be too scared of them either. Um, but yeah, most of all, enjoy your time with you because it is such a varied experience. I would say, people say, oh, so is Brick Uni, but nah. Brick Uni, we've got students that are mainly the same age as you. Like me, I started in 2011, I'm 27 now, but I, back then I was a bit younger, obviously. And I was like meeting different ages, students, hearing about like, their life experiences, learning from their life experiences in some cases. And um, yeah, it's, it's just such a varied experience. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend the OU to anyone, um, because it's just, you learn so much about different areas of the world of work um, from the people you're on the course with it's just I think I stood at one course I did someone was on the F an F1 team RAF you see them a lot you see a lot of people from the RAF on the OU modules and then another one ran his own trading business like proper trading business and it's just crazy the people you meet on them, it's just random. Definitely had some, definitely studied with someone from the F1 team. Definitely, I can't remember what module, but it's definitely, definitely happened. Um, also, you'll notice a few famous faces crop up, not just Lenny Henry, although he doesn't really crop up on modules. Uh, business, I've seen Vera Pifitas on one module. And then another one, I'm sure... Duncan Bannertime was on it. Sure it was. It's a while ago. Um, and then random videos about bird's eye and BMI or an airline and a doctor's surgery and a cinema chain. So yeah, it is random what you'll come across on your modules, but it is it is designed in a way that keeps your attention if you're really into that area as well, which is probably advisable to do a degree in something you're really into um, it'll be really really enjoyable for you as well to watch a video some parts aren't don't get me wrong I studied business and accounting bored me I fell asleep most of the time when I was doing accounting it's the best thing to get to sleep read accounting book hmm, sorted but yeah um, there's always aspects of degrees that you won't enjoy uh, but if if the good parts outweigh the bad parts then you'll be fine because you'll enjoy the most the majority of it but yeah that's all i've really got to say about the OU. it's um definitely worth doing studying with the OU. It really is definitely worth doing it's such a good idea so if you are just starting don't panic don't be scared don't be shy jump into the OU groups on facebook and have a good chat with the experienced students who are still studying and experienced students that have finished studying and there's some there from years ago still there hello if you're watching um, and they will help what with any most questions they can help with they will help obviously they've got lives as well but they will help um, yeah enjoy it really that's all I can say to new students current students that are feeling a bit down and glum and Ooh, when's this going to end I had a bad results or whatever, got a reset, whatever, keep going. You can do it and you will do it and when you get your degree you will be, I don't really know how to describe it, 
shocked. Um, you'll be happy really. Enjoy it basically. New students enjoy it. Current students keep going and those that have passed and got their degree, like me, well done. Thank you for watching.